While teams like the Minnesota Timberwolves and Oklahoma City Thunder have showed up and showed out this season, to me the Orlando Magic are far and away the biggest surprise of this NBA season thus far. While I thought the Magic would be better than the bottom feeders they've been as of late, not in a million years would I have guessed that the Orlando Magic would have a top 3 record in the NBA about 20 games in. While Paolo Boncaro and Franz Wagner are leading the way, Orlando's great assortment of quality role players and the coaching of Jamal Mosley have taken this squad to the next level. Today I will be going over Orlando's unreal start and their insanely bright future. Before we get into this, if y'all could like the video, sub to the channel, and hit that noti bell, I would really really appreciate it, it would help me out a ton, and without further ado, let's get right into the video. While a major reason for this Magic team's dominance is their assortment of quality role players, I'm gonna start off with the stars. Paolo and Franz were guys who I thought were franchise cornerstones, but I didn't see this level of team success for the Magic happening for another two or three years. Orlando's franchise player, former number one overall pick and rookie of the year Paolo Boncaro is on track for future superstardom and is showing it this season. While his counting stats have more or less improved across the board outside of a current .2 dip in rebounding, Paolo's efficiency is where we see that he has really taken the next step. Three-point shooting was a concern with Paolo, as he shot just shy of 30% from deep last season on about four attempts a night. My only gripe with Paolo following his rookie season was this, and Paolo clearly understands the importance of the three in the modern NBA, and he has improved drastically in both shot selection and shot making from deep. Paolo so far in his sophomore season is shooting just above 40% from deep on about three attempts a night. This kind of development so early into a career shows me that Paolo has the drive necessary to become and remain a superstar in this league. While the three-point development is amazing and helps his overall efficiency, it isn't his only area of development. Paolo has increased his true shooting percentage by just over 4 points this season and has also taken his assist numbers from 3.7 to 4.5. Paolo is an outstanding 21-7-5 guy now, and I can't wait to see what the future holds because he should be an absolute star if he isn't already. The other key cog in this Orlando machine is none other than 2021 lottery pick Franz Wagner. Franz has shown consistent improvement in his young career and could very well become an all-star level guy. Having two 6 foot 9 to 6 foot 10 forwards with versatile offensive packages is a dream for many and they have that in Orlando. While his 3 point shot isn't looking great right now, this somehow twists to make me even more afraid of this Orlando team. If Franz can put up an efficient 21 6 and 4 with a 3 point shooting slump, imagine what he could do when he gets his shot going. The Orlando Magic have found their franchise cornerstones and while they are excelling in leading this team, two guys averaging more or less 21 5 and 5 doesn't make an elite level team. I was confused about Orlando's direction when drafting Anthony Black while having Cole Anthony, Markel Fultz, and Jalen Suggs, but someone in Orlando obviously knew something the general public did not. Orlando's role players are propelling this team to the top of the standings, and this is mostly without Wendell Carter Jr. and Markel Fultz. I was honestly confused as to why Jalen Suggs hadn't shown the flashes many saw for him coming out of Gonzaga, but while he likely won't reach the star potential many foresaw, Suggs has found his lane in this league. Suggs is proving to be a very high level role player and glue guy, averaging 12-4-3 so far this season on far better efficiency than any other point in his career thus far. My outlook for Suggs was bleak after a few subpar seasons on some awful Magic teams, but he has found his path and I am really happy for him. Next up we have one half of Orlando's bench scoring punch, Cole Anthony. While not to the same degree, Anthony and Suggs were somewhat in the same boat of hype coming into the league and are now in somewhat of the same boat of finding their role in the league. Cole is putting up 15, 5, and 4 in about 25 minutes off the bench, making him one of 5 double figure scorers for the Magic. Cole is providing the scoring when Paolo and Franz need some rest and has shown that he is well worth the 3 year $39 million contract extension that he was given. The last guy I want to take a real deep dive into is none other than Mo Wagner, the brother of Franz. While I thought that him and Franz being on the same team was cool, I never foresaw the type of season Mo is having right now. He is the biggest surprise of a player on the biggest surprise of a team in the NBA. Wagner is currently putting up 13-4 and four on 70% true shooting in just over 19 minutes a night. While I can't say I had strong thoughts about Mo one way or another prior to this season, he was more or less just a guy floating around to me, he is proving that he can be a solid rotation piece on a good team. 
While I would love to take a deep dive into nearly everyone on this Orlando roster, I am unfortunately not making a documentary here. Despite that, guys like Gary Harris, Anthony Black, Goga Bataze, Joe Ingles, and Jonathan Isaac are also key contributors to this insane start for the Magic. The major source of the success seen so far in Orlando is due to their defense. The Magic are currently the second best defense in the league and have given the best of the best real problems. This is where the impact of Orlando's assortment of quality role players is seen. This is a young and hungry team playing with tenacity, and if they can develop into a top 10 offense, look out. The Orlando Magic have shocked me and the NBA world so far this season, and with the age of their key pieces, they have arrived and should be here for a little while. I'm curious to see what happens with the returns of Wendell Carter Jr. and Markel Fultz, but I think both of these guys can be contributors for this squad. Being an Orlando Magic fan just became fun again, and I think the 21 and 22 year old duo of Paolo Boncaro and Franz Wagner will bring this team back to the height scene with the likes of Dwight Howard and the big diesel Shaquille O'Neal. While I think the Magic will be a tough out for whoever they face in the playoffs, my main point with this team is how they are still so young. While I'm not expecting a deep playoff run quite yet, I also wasn't even expecting this team to make the playoffs this year, so hey, I mean, maybe I could be wrong again. I am just in absolute awe of how this team is playing right now. I really did not expect this on any level. Like, again, I expected them to be, you know, in play-in contention, you know, probably in, you know, probably, you know, 8 to or 9 to 12 range. Like, that was my real expectation for this team. And now, not only are they, you know, top 3, or I don't even know what they are in the East right now. I know they're top 3 in the NBA. I didn't even look at the East. I'm pretty sure they're, okay, they're, yeah, they're, they're number 2 in the East behind Boston, which is just absolutely crazy. I mean, this has been an absolutely amazing season for them. Just the, you know, the, the defense and the defensive tenacity, I feel like being has been such a sticking point for Jamal Mosley with this young team, and it has really, really worked. I mean, in all honesty, you know, I I, I was watching that uh, that Nuggets game, or not, not the Nuggets game, I mean, they, they did beat the Nuggets. They beat the Nuggets and Celtics in back-to-back -back games, had a crazy win streak. They did drop a couple to the Nets and the Cavs, but they did just get it back going with the Pistons. And man, just watching that Celtics game, like, you know, I bet on the Celtics, so, you know, you know, you know, a tad frustrating, you know, seeing Mo Wagner put up 27 on 9 of 13 against what's, you know, supposed to be, which is, uh, but, you know, in this moment, supposed to be, you know, one of the best teams, if not the best team in the league, by a wide margin, Tatum just getting absolutely shut down down the stretch, because, you know, this was a close game until, you know, the fourth quarter, and then it just absolutely went crazy magic end up winning by 17 but this game was just an example of what these guys can do to good teams because you know going out and beating you know you know beating the pistons and you, you know all these other teams which you know again 82 games in the nba you know every single team is going to have to play and beat bad teams you got to do it but proving it up against the elite elite teams of the league is where you can see how good a team really really is and they do it time and time again and man i i just you know again i you know i liked paulo i liked Apollo last year I thought he could be great Franz I'm like he's cool I just didn't see this at all and I don't think really anyone did like I don't, I don't even think magic fans saw this I don't think you could have asked one magic fan preseason hey uh would you I or you know ass is different because you know anyone can go back and say oh yeah oh yeah I would have said that I would have you know I, like no one in the world I'm genuinely convinced that there is not one person on this planet that if you said, you know, wh whatever the odds would have been of, you know, putting money down on them being a top three seed 20 games in or, or top two seed, excuse me, top three in the league. I don't think anyone, it, if you ask anyone to put any significant amount of money on that, they would be like, no, anyone, anyone. Like, I don't care if you're the biggest Magic fan, season ticket holder, you go to every game, you would not have put a substantial amount of your, you know your capital on the line for that and that's just like i mean that's like a i mean i don't know if that's a stupid like that conclusion i don't know man i just like to ramble at the end of these videos and i am but bottom line is man this orlando team is playing absolutely amazing amazing basketball right now and i just don't even know what the future holds i mean you know again such a young team so many i mean again I, I don't know what their draft assets really look like right now i'm gonna go take a look at this because you know i don't think they've been involved in any major trades but i think they definitely should still have their oh wow it's so weird going on fans poll and having the magic be the second team in the east like this i, I don't even know what to say about this but you know I, I mean hey they do have a solid assortment of draft picks you know they got a denver pick in 2025 so hey i mean you know that they have more than enough assets to go and make a move if they want to you know again because you know the cole anthony anthony black jalen suggs 
you know, thing is working out great right now, but at some point, you know, they're going to have to extend Jalen Suggs this offseason. There's, you know, you know, like, like, like there's a whole lot of stuff at play here, but bottom line is, you know, <laughs> the Magic have a great team right now and a whole boatload of assets and future cap space to go and make this team a whole lot better. And that makes me scared as an Eastern Conference fan, but that's going to wrap this one up. If y'all enjoyed it, please like it up, sub the channel, and hit that noti bell. It does help me out a ton, a ton, a ton. If you're here at the end of the video, comment, uh, shoot, what, what? I mean, there's really nothing around me. Comment quarter. I'm, I'm holding a quarter right now. There you go. There's a quarter. Comment quarter. I uh, appreciate y'all. My bad for the hiatus. You know, I will be back in full swing this month. I, I don't know why. I, I couldn't tell y'all. I really could not tell y'all why I haven't uploaded in 20 days. But we're back. So, uh, yeah. That's actually going to wrap this one up. Once again, like it up, sub the channel. Hit the noti bell. All that. I would really appreciate it. And I'm out. Peace.